let's go to the second yeah, place team in the division. What's wrong either. with the Raiders? I mean, you know what's wrong with the well, Raiders. Well, we'll get to yeah. we'll get to that former head coach Shit. in a second. No, that's what's wrong with the goddamn Raiders. <laughs> rubber, rubber, talk rubber, about rubber, what is, what's going on with Gruden? Rubber lips and uh uh and and queers and faggots. That's what's going on with the Raiders. All right, let's go there because yesterday me and Kevin yeah, touched on it. I'm drinking yet today, man. Are what's we gonna up? get to that? Because that, oh, okay. that that ties into the Raiders and my reward uh next oh, okay. month when we so, play. So I, so I, <laughs> I knew you was gonna bring that shit up. All right. Um listen, early, it's great. I think when, I really think we're gonna win now. When that first email came out, I'm like, no, nah, I agree with Tony Dungy. I don't think he's a racist. I stand behind him. I even told that to Kevin. And then later on, I found out I'm looking at my stuff. Gruden resigns. Gruden resigns. What? They found more emails, homophobic, homophobic slurs, misogynistic uh, stuff. It's like, wow, this man is really not who we thought he was. Go. Time out, Richard. Time out, Richard. Time out. I, I, can I just correct you on one thing real fast? And I'll yeah, let you go ahead. Know. Go ahead. They didn't find anything. Somebody crazy. turned them to this. Somebody had it out for Gruden and gave those emails. Y'all want they me to tell y'all who it was? They didn't find shit. Y'all want me to tell you who it was? Bruce Allen, former Raider coach, sent it to Mark Davis. Bruce Allen was the GM. GM or whatever. I sent it to Mark Davis. I don't think he did it. I know. Oh, those they emails, reported he did it. They, the emails were addressed to him. Why would he hold them emails on Gruden? Oh, no, yeah, they were sent to him. Then he's the one that sent them to Mark Davis, what I'm saying. They ain't said who sent them to him, but they like, he's the one that sent those to Mark Davis. And that's when Davis, you know, that's when Eric, that's what got the ball rolling. Somebody had it out for John Gruden. Yeah. yeah. Um, you, don't, you don't sit on that shit all this time and then all of a sudden just drop that. When someone sent... This man at that time was doing Monday Night Football, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. He was okay. on TV. Okay. So he wasn't working for the league. He was working for ESPN at the time. Uh, and he sent those emails to somebody, and somebody held on to them motherfuckers because they said, I can use this shit against this dude at some point. Why else would you hold the? Why else would you have those emails? And why would you turn them into the league now? Why Damn! Man? Wait till the Raiders get good, and then just like chop them back down again. That's the thing. Once you get high, but what I'm the, cutting you down? Okay, so the person that did it, what's in it for them if that's the case? I have no idea. Why, 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 pun why punish the franchise? So, do you have something against the Raiders, or do you have something against John Gruden? I think it's both. I, yeah. When it's all said and done, it's going to come out to be somebody that was on Gruden's staff that probably got fired unjustly and he got a hold of those emails. Maybe unjustly. It ain't got to be unjustly, you know, for somebody to do some shit like that. Motherfuckers yeah. get fired justly all the time and acting fool. Yeah. Now, it's, now, it's, it's, it's going to be something like that. Let's roll back. Fine. Let's roll back, though. I mean, whether it be just or unjust, Gruden had no business sending anything like that out. Absolutely not. But I tell you one thing: when he fucked, when he became no good for them owners' money, he had to go. See, it was okay when the email just came out about De was it Demar Smith? Yeah, that email was fine because see, but when Goodell's got, email went out, and then right uh, when you talked about that money, man, when you talked about Goodell, you was in trouble. That's and you Ryan will notice Clark this: on, uh, Ron Clark said on his his uh, podcast, where he was like. For all you blacks out there that watch football, don't think he got fired, but he resigned because of us. It had nothing to do with us. They can make comments about us. It was everything else he said that he had to step out. Now, I want y'all to take notice of this. Point. I want y'all to take notice of this. Davis could have went in the office at any point and fired him. He did not. You notice how Gruden resigned. Here's the thing. We fire him. You're on the hook for that sixty million, because that's in his contract. Yeah, you force him to resign. You don't owe him a dime. Yeah, and he did resign. Exactly. Yeah. But the thing about that, per Adam Schefter at halftime last night, 
the league was so far of the Raiders' ass watching this situation, Davis only had so much time to do something. So Gruden did save him by going ahead and resigning because the league pretty much let it be known, if you don't do something, we go do something. Well, they didn't. He didn't save him at all. Mark Davis is gonna fire him. He's he's one of those thirty-two billionaires. Yeah. He was gonna fire him regardless. He yeah. grew no became no longer good for business. Yes. And, and this is why I told you yesterday, Kev, that it was a win-win for both. We're off the hook for the sixty million by him Jesus resigning. Lord. It looks Jesus better Lord. for Gruden three, four years from now when he. Wants to come back into the league and do something or another. Uh, now, now, now we'll get to whether or not he's done or not. We will get to that. But in his mind at the time, no matter what, this is better than an outright firing. I'll because, put it to you like this: Pete Rose got a better chance of getting to the Hall of Fame than Gruden got coming back. Right now, I have to agree with you. But remember when I told you this is a very forgiving society? Look in, just look at Trump. Look at all the things that man has done. And he's still about to run for president again? Really? And, and people, want to, people want to talk about Gruden. Huh? What else he got to do? Yeah. But, I'm, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, you know, as, as you know, it's taken from Jerry Jones, that's American sports football. So America ain't happy with, with uh, Gruden right now. Gruden got to go hide, hide and hide some more, yeah. then hopefully, maybe, I say about five, eight years, take a job with Fox. You got to take a job with a distant network <laughs> and maybe get pulled in. And He's going to be on Fox, Fox College Saturday. <laughs> you got to be on Fox Sports 35. <laughs> He's no, going to be he he the sideline reporter. They need, they need to make his ass go call uh, black college football games. That's what they need to do with him. Oh, wow. <laughs> Can you Maybe imagine Gruden doing Grambling State? Man. That's what they need to do with him. Go do that for a while. He got but, to do, it's got to, for him to come back it, before five years, it's got to be the grandest of the grandest gesture. No, nah, well, he won't be coming back, buddy. That's it. He's been canceled. Do y'all understand? But, but here's what the thing. Culture is? Do, do you think do you think that he's just racist or just stupid? Both. both. Tell me why you say both. Everybody got a little racism in them. I don't care who you are. Everybody got a little some way, shape, or form. You got some racism in you. I'm not you a racist. I love you, niggers. <laughs> and for him to say that, that you, you might have something you. against Asians, though. Yeah, I was in a dark place. Man, what the hell ever. Yeah, I think that was a lot of backtracking and bullshit right there. The nigga had a job at ESPN calling Monday Night Football. How was he in a dark place? And you had a fucking quarterback called everybody was coming to you out of college working with you, but you in a dark place. Man, go somewhere with that bullshit. Hey, look, there is no coming back. Time there of death? No <laughs> hey, there, time there. of death? 805 last night. <laughs> there, there is no organization in the NFL that is going to touch him after that. They can't. The NFL has spent all this money about diversity in racism. We're in this together. He coaching a team with a gay dude. Like, he, but he it, that's, that's why I think that it, he can because think of how many people came down on Michael Vick. He ended up back in the league He's got that's a job on Fox. Just dogs. That's that's, listen, the, yeah, that's that's not not the head coach of a of a of a franchise. Michael Vick was labor shit. Yeah, that's, that's, that's true. And he went to jail, so that, that's different. So why does Urban Meyer still have a job? What did because he do wrong? He's at a strip club. Because it's Florida, baby. That's <laughs> <laughs> it's Florida, baby. He didn't. Urban Meyer didn't do anything illegal. He just got recorded. That's all. Well, racism he isn't illegal, so you know he, he, he didn't do anything illegal. But his wife ain't happy. Yeah, he just go get a divorce or go buy and go pull a Kobe. He go get this uh, ten carat diamond he, ring. He ain't gonna do that. Yeah, he he ain't getting no divorce. He too far in the game for that. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna cost him a pretty penny. He'll be urban minor. Yeah. <laughs> now the, the the question to you, Richard, and then. I want to I want to have something to talk about the fight. 
Do you think the Raiders are going to have – because they said the locker room was split when when everything happened. Are y'all going to have a hangover from it? Or are they going to come together? We've already had a hangover. Coach now. We've already had our hangover. That was the Bears game. You can see their heads clearly wasn't in the game. Clearly. That was before everything else came out, though. Oh, I think they're better now. Here's why. You don't have that cancer in the locker room with you. When you have a coach that you don't believe in and he's talking rah, rah, whatever, you're like, yeah, sure, okay. Your head ain't in the game. They've had a chance to wake up this morning, do their thing, get the game plan installed for the next game. New coach that you already know because he's the interim. He's going to be handling things. This is going to do one of two things. It's either going to galvanize everybody and they're going to pick up where they left off two, three weeks ago, or this season's over. And I think that this team has shown that they will put it together because you saw when they started off 3-0, and no matter who you interviewed, they all had one constant thing they always said. This team is like a family. But and when you have players thing, talk though. about that, they have a way of rallying to each other. And I think that's yeah, what but, they're going to do. But what happened with families when daddy go to jail? See, <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> that's the thing. Yeah, daddy really go line up next when, when daddy go to up, jail, daddy you got to hold it down for the rest of the family. But that's, true. that's, people that's, that's, people what, that's my thing, up. though. You got to step up. Can I really line up next to you when I know you supported him and I didn't? So it's like the inner bickering is what I'm saying. Uh, I don't and know. No, I don't, I, don't think, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Uh, and I think it's actually – here's why I think it's going to be better. You know how much pressure Carr was under by his own head coach week in and week out? Looking and over the shoulder. Imagine how Carr can play free now. Coach didn't want him. Imagine how free Carr can be now. Dude is under pressure, and he throws for 4,000 yards in the first three games. Imagine what he can do for the next three games. He don't give a fuck. He's going to get ready to get that contract extension. He can just gunsling it. Trust me. That is interesting. Are they going to sign Carr now? Or the new – here's here's the thing if we look at coaches if if you promote the interim if they have a decent season and you promote the interim they might keep car they go out and get somebody i won't say they are but if they get the enemy the enemy wants his own guy so car is as good as gone he's probably going to want to install his own type of offense and everything byron leftwich might keep car that's middle of the road that would be your best bet because he was a quarterback coach before he became a coordinator so he can work with Carr. I mean, look what he did with Brady. I think Byron Leftwich is ready to be a head coach. Byron Leftwich been ready for at least yeah. the past few years. Yeah, I think he is. He's I think ready. I think he's right where Enemy was two years ago. Two two years ago, Enemy should have been on another team, head coach. He I got dicked around. Interview. I think he's been blowing interviews on purpose. Yeah, he wants. Andy Reid's not going anywhere anytime sense. soon. If you want a job, strike while the iron's hot. No, nah, I, th- I think Reid is going to be done in the next two years. I agree you with think Tony so? on that. Yeah, 2023 will be, when we had to drive here, that'll be Andy's last year. I think Andy's going to be done in the next couple of years. And if and, and if I was being me in his role and his shoes, I wouldn't go anywhere. Golden ticket. I, I'd, I'd, I'd hitch my wagon to, to Patrick Mahomes. Here's so, what I don't want Davis to do. Don't go to any college getting it head coach. That That's the death nail right there. College yeah. coaches are not – Pete Carroll was the last college coach that was ready for the NFL, period. Right. And that's well, only right because now, he was an NFL coach before he went to USC. Luckily for you, right now, Urban Meyer is helping <laughs> Yeah. What about – You stay away from college. Well, no. What about Matt Rule in Carolina? Damn, good point. And you are there to see it happen, too. Didn't you see that dismantling last week? Yeah, People I mean, figured him out. Dallas, that was, they that figured him out. Dallas, man. Of, 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 of course Dallas was going to run the boys in the ground. They're not on that level yet before a coach in his second year. Now, Dallas played the Giants last week. This past week. I'm talking about just Sunday. As in two days ago, they lost again. Who did they lose to? I mean, Uh, I got to think about it, but they was up and then let it slip away. 
Yes, yes, they did. But I'll tell you this, still, in his second year, he's further along than people expected him to be. And he just done got a retread this year from the Jets. If you're going to go to college, get Harbaugh. That's what you do. I wouldn't want, I don't know if I'd want him, man. Why? He took the Niners to a Super Bowl. He he can motivate a team. Harbaugh might work in Vegas. Harbaugh might work in Vegas. I don't think, you know what, if they came calling, I'd run it. I'd run away from Michigan. I'd be out. Yeah. If Davis came calling, I'd be out if I was Harbaugh. But I don't know if Davis likes him like that. Uh, I mean, the one person that Davis did like had to resign the other day. So, shit, what can you do?